I'm East Deanna, and in today's video, we're talking top tips on finding the best places to stay while you're traveling. When I travel, I try to avoid big chain hotels, and I try to opt for boutique hotels, because usually boutique hotels are located in more up-and-coming, cool neighborhoods, and big chain hotels are always usually in really tourist hotspots and financial districts, and I like to have a little bit less of a commercial experience when I'm traveling. If you're on a budget but you still want your own private space while you're traveling, a cheaper alternative to a hotel is booking a private room at a hostel. You'll still get your private room, a little bit more minimal but at a much lower cost. Another tip for saving money is to book directly with the hotel. So even if you're looking on bookings.com or other sites that will give you different listings, once you find that hotel, actually go to the website of the hotel and book there to avoid paying those extra commissions. Also try to look for places that serve breakfast automatically because then you'll also save some money there. If you're traveling for a long period of time or maybe hopping from country to country, for example, maybe you're doing all of Europe, I always suggest alternating between types of accommodations that you're staying at. So for example, a couple days you might stay in a hotel and then next you book an Airbnb and the next it's a hostel and then you switch to a switch. This way you're going to get a variety of experiences, you won't get tired of one type of place, you won't get tired of traveling, you also have the option to cook on those days that you're maybe at an Airbnb and this way you just get more of a well-rounded trip. If you're looking for an Airbnb type accommodation, a couple other options I love to check out is HomeAway, HomeStay, and One Fine Stay. One of my favorite tools that's not for booking accommodations but always helps me in my decision of where to stay is Oyster.com. It gives you real reviews, real pros and cons lists, and unedited photos that users upload of places so you can actually see what they look like and not filtered, edited versions, and so I always use this when I'm booking. A couple booking tools I like to use to find cool boutique hotels are Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Tablet Hotels, Pinterest, other bloggers, and even magazines like Condé Nast, Coverture, The Every Girl, they often have really good recommendations. Insta tip. Boutique hotels are usually very Instagrammable. If you're not staying at one, you can usually just go for lunch or pay a smaller fee to access the pool lounge without actually having to stay a full night there. Get a paid tape when I get away